when we began um, bringing women to Notre Dame to be a part of the Notre Dame life and Notre Dame experience, uh, I had several women, John Marion Jones being one of them, certainly a very important one, who came here to help us because I knew that while I was growing up with three women, that didn't qualify me to start an institution which was going to be half women. So many other educators came in, most of them nuns from around the country, some lay people as well. And working together, we were able to pull this changeover from an all-male institution to a co-ed institution, which happened without a big fuss, you know, or any big crises. It just happened in a very smooth way. We did it gradually. Every year we added a new class, and every year the we graduated a class. So the alumni of women began to grow. Until today, they're very close to 50-50, where, and the same was happening to the student body, it is also 50-50. Now, we could let it go larger, but we're not going to. I think we would always want to be half women, half men. That's, in a sense, the mirror of marriage. And we also want to continue to incorporate the best of female values in the university and to see a perpetuation of this male-female relationship in Christian marriage, which happens in the lives of most of our graduates. They don't always marry Notre Dame men, don't always marry Notre Dame women, but an awful lot of them do, and increasingly we have more and more Notre Dame marriages across the land.